everybody, my name is Danton McGorgas, and welcome to RuneScape. More importantly, old school RuneScape. I, uh, been wanting to play this for a while, and I saw everyone's playing Minecraft, and I'm not a... I haven't played Minecraft a lot, but I've eventually been wanting to play Minecraft, and I... I will if, if anyone wants me to play Minecraft, I will, but... I wanted to play some RuneScape because that's the game I resonated more with. Like, that's more of my my time. So let's just uh, let's just get into this. Okay, I guess we're we're in. All right. So setting your appearance. Before you get started, we'll need to set the appearance of your character. Please use the open interface to set your appearance. Okay. So we obviously want the long hair. No, no. I'm trying to make it look like me. Uh, jaw, I guess clean shaven, torso, um, hmm, I don't know, I like that. Those are cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, black. Black. Got, you know, got, got to be a goth boy. With the palest skin you got. There you go. And we got hair. I'll just go with brown. Like me, you know, shit. Keep it simple. Um, male. That looks cool. I mean, we're, we're going to be wearing armor and shit eventually, so it doesn't matter. Okay, getting started. Before you begin, have a read through the controls guide with the top left of the screen. Um, get ready when you started, click on the Gillier guide. He is indicated by the flashing yellow arrow. Greetings! I see you are new, a new arrival to the world of Gelinor. My job is to welcome all new visitors, so welcome! You have already learned the first thing needed to succeed in this world. Talking to other people. Oh, there's a life lesson right there, shit. You will find many inhabitants of this world. Have useful things to say to you. By clicking it on them, you can talk to them. Before we get going, if you would like, be so kind to let me know how much experience you have with RuneScape. That would be wonderful. To answer, simply click the chosen answer in the following screen. What experience do you have at Old School RuneScape? I've played in the past, but not recently. I'm experienced. I'm brand new. In the past, but not recently. That's for sure. <laughs> I've played in the past, but not recently. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. So I was trying to give him like a Professor Oak kind of vibe. You know, because he's like the beginning of the game letting you know. Now then, let's start by looking up your options menu. Oh god, options menu. The clicking spanner icon in the bottom right. Okay. On the side panel, a variety of game options such as screen brightness. Uh, don't worry about it too much. Let me turn down the music. Fucking loud ass shit. Um, yeah, I made a big screen. Wide screen. Uh, okay, so that looks good. Talk to the guide again. Looks like you're making good progress. The menu you just opened is one of many. You'll learn about the rest as you progress through the tutorial. So we on Tutorial Island. Oh boy. Anyway, it's time for you to go. I must meet your first instructor. Moving on. It's time to meet your first instructor. Continue. All you need to do is click on the door. It's indicated by the flashing yellow arrow. Remember, you can use the arrow keys to rotate the camera. Okay. Nice. Let's go. Holy shit. Alright, so I'm just... You can just click on the little mini-map up here in the top right. That's what's so cool. Alright, let me talk to the first instructor. It's a survival expert. Hello there, newcomer. My name is Bryna. My job is to teach you about the skills you could use to survive in this world. The first skill we're going to teach you is fishing. Here's some sh Here's some scramp. 
in the pond here. Let's try and catch them. The survival expert gives you a small fishing net. You've been given an item. You can view it. What you've been given to open your inventory. Click on the flashing backpack icon. Okay. I have that. Now I can go fishing. So I click on it and then go fishing. There we go. Please wait. Your character is now attempting to catch some scramp. You managed to catch some scramp. Gain some experience. Click on the flashing bar near the inventory skill will show your oh boy skills and experience on this menu you see your skills will be leveled up during experience blah 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 you know how it is speaks to survival expert to continue so we got all these stats you know like defense and health mining fishing tree cutting fire making all that kind of stuff we'll get into that I've managed to catch some shrimp because I'm so scrimp Excellent work. Now that you've, you've got some shrimp, you're going to want to cook them. To do that, you need to fire. This will this brings us to wood cutting and fire making skills. The survival expert gives you a bronze axe and a tinder box. Wood cutting. It's time to cut your shrimp. Cook your shrimp. <laughs> However, you require a fire to do that, which means you'll need some logs. You can cut down trees using your wood cutting skill. Okay. Managed to cut some logs. Now that you have some logs, it's time to light a fire. Click on the tinder box in your inventory. Then with the tinder box highlighted, click on the logs. Okay. Like that. You can't light a fire here. Oh, yeah, dur. Okay, so just boom, boom. Nice. Can't light a fire on top of a fire. Can't fight fire with fire, I guess. Now it's time to get cooking. To do so, click on the scramp. Does that work? Your character is now attempting. You cook some scramp! Move it on. Now you've just cooked your first meal. Speak to the survival expert. How to recap. Otherwise, you can move on. Click on the gate shown on the path. Yeah, I'm good. If anything, I want some more shrimp. You know, I'd like to get some more. I'm gonna try cooking them. Yeah, okay. That's fun. Oh, but you accidentally burned the scrimp. Yeah, sometimes you burn it. You just gotta deal with your life decisions. Okay, so we're just gonna go over here. Oh god. Disoriented. Do I just... There we go. Oh, let me... I could turn it up a little bit. So I need to go all the way there, so... Fuck it up. Come on. Open the door. Alright, talk to the chef indicated. He will teach you more advanced aspects of cooking, such as combining ingredients. Ah, oh, welcome, newcomer! I am the Master Chef, Lev. And he's here, I will teach you how to cook food truly fit for a king. I already know how to cook. Brian had taught me just now. Ha ha ha! You call that cooking some shrimp on an open fire log? Oh, no, no, no. I am going to teach you the fine art of cooking bread. The master chef gives you some flour and some water. Making dough. This is the base of any meals. To make dough, you must mix flour and water. To do so, mix the flour in your inventory. The flour indicate highlighted. Click on the water to combine. Okay. Boom. You made some dough. Now you made some dough, you can bake it in the bread. Okay. Boom. 
Attempted to break some bake some bread. Yeah, we did it. Well done. Oh, you advanced in cooking level. Look at that. Level two. Woo. So we got different levels for each skill we got. Cooking and wood cutting, fire making, all that. Well done. You baked your first loaf of bread. Now you gain experience by cooking. You'll be able to do other things from pies and cakes. You can now use next door to move on. If you need recap of anything, talk to the master chef. I think I'm good. Let's go. Yeah, the, the, the wayfinding in this game, the pathfinding, or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty confusing. Yeah, just go there. Yeah, this is so nostalgic, just playing this game. It's so I love the old school graphics and everything. This is just, this is so much fun. Let me know if any of you guys played this game in the past or or if you still play it i mean I'm, I'm just picking it back up and checking it out thought it'd be fun it's time to learn about quests let's talk to the quest guy to get started ah welcome adventurer i'm here to tell you all about quests let's start by opening your quest journal Ooh, yeah quests sound fun flashing icon to the left this is your quest journal. List every quest in the game. Talk to the quest guy for an explanation of how it works. Now that you have the journal open, I'll tell you a bit about it. At the moment, all the quests are shown in red, which means you have not started them yet. When you start a quest, it changes colors to yellow. Once you've finished it, it will change to green. This is so you can easily see what's complete, what's started, and what's left to begin. A, clicking a quest in the journal will display more information on it. If you haven't already started a quest, it will tell you where to begin and what requirements you need. If your quest is in progress, it will remind you that you what you need to do next. It's very easy to find your quest start point, so just look out for the quest icon on your minimap. You should see one mark in this house. The minimap on the top right corner and the screen has various icons. Interpret. Look for the thing. Hmm. Okay. The quests themselves can vary greatly from collecting beads to hunting down dragons. Completing quests will reward you with all sorts of things, such as new areas and better weapons. There's a lot more I can I can tell you about questing. You have to experience the thrill of it yourself to fully understand. Let me know if you want a recap. Otherwise, you can move on. Let's go. Oh man, we in it. Mining and smithing. Next, let's get you a weapon and more to the point, get your first weapon yourself. Don't panic. Mining instructor will help you. Talk to him and he'll tell you all about it. Hey there, you must be new around here, so... What do I call you? Newcomer? Seems to be impersonal, and if you're going to be working together, I'd rather you call you by your name. You can call me Demogorgus, or I had to put the X's at the beginning and the end. And I thought that was appropriate for the time period of like, you know, everyone's putting X's in their name and XZ. Everyone was XDing, so I, I, I thought it was just, it worked out fine. So I'm going to just deal with it. Okay then, Demogorgus, my name is... Desic, and I'm a miner by trade. Let's teach you how to mine. Mining is very simple. All you need to do is pickaxe. The rocks around here contain all types of copper. You don't get started in the mine. You'll ensure which type or which is which. You you can prospect them to find out. Gave me a bronze pickaxe. Okay, mining. Let's just do this. Enough chatter. Got some tin. Now that you got some tin, you need some copper. Okay. Let's just do that okay so this is copper oh, okay that one's fine got some copper 
Now you have some tin and some copper ore. You can smelt these with, into a bronze bar. An indicated map. Okay. I like smelting. Sounds fun. You received a bar of bronze. Speak to the... Okay. It's coming together. It's coming together. I have a bronze bar. What now? Oop. Oop, here we go. Now that you've got a bar, you can smelt... Smith it into a weapon. To smith something, you need a hammer and an axe and an anvil. You have some anvils you can use to make a bronze dagger. Give me a hammer. Smithing it. Okay. Let's go. Let's make a dagger. Oh, I like how it's just like pre-made. Pretty much. Congratulations, you made your first weapon. Now it's time to move on. Go through the gates and the arrow. Remember, you need some. Move the camera around your sur surroundings. Okay. Let's go. Hi, my name is Dim Demogorgus. Do I look like I care? To me, you're just another newcomer who thinks they're ready to fight. Combat instructor. I am Van Naka, the greatest swordsman alive, and I'm here to teach you the basics of combat. Let's get started by teaching you to wield a weapon. You can now equip things. Oh. So I can put this here or something? How do I get that? Ah. There we go. Very good. But that little butter knife ain't going to protect you much. Let's get you something a bit better. Once you're properly equipped, now you can move on to the actual combat. Once gives you a bronze sword and a wood shield. Oh, nice. Unequipping items. Uh. Can I just, like, click on it? There we go. Alright, combat interface. Click on the crossed arrows. Oh. This is the combat interface. From here you can select the attack style you want to use in combat. Um. That's fine. Just the basic. Click on the gates to continue. I'm going to leave it off here. Thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know what you think about old school rune, RuneScape or, you know, RuneScape in general if you ever played it or if you want me to keep playing this. The play philosopher quote of the day is, instead of trying to make your life perfect, give yourself the freedom to make it an adventure and go ever upward. Drew Houston. And I thought that was appropriate because of the adventure aspect. Like, we just started a brand new adventure and we, the, all we can do is go up. In levels, experience, friendship, all that good stuff. I mean, and don't worry about being the best, just enjoy the ride. You know? Life's so short, just enjoy it while you can. Don't stress to be the best. Or you'll miss out on the rest. <laughs> but I'll do a play this down below of Zoni the Enders, the second runner, Mars. Another game I've been recently playing. And also a uh, link to the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 live stream I did if you want to check that out. And also a random video. And if you like the video, consider subscribing, sharing with a friend, commenting, you know, say what's up, hit that notification bell, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.